Remember Tom and Jerry? The morning insiders are on Tom's team for this particular one. Jerry here is causing quite the ruckus, even though a Chicago family paid hundreds of dollars to remove rodents. Well, Jerry was a mouse versus a rat, right? <laughs> morning insider Lauren Victory shares their plight and excuses from the exterminator. A warning, squeamish viewers may want to turn away. Oh. Uh. 13-month-old Jacob let us know he's ruler of this roost. But he's not the only creature crawling around the kingdom. We've caught maybe about a total of seven or eight. His mom, Sandy Ramirez, is mortified by what's repeatedly captured on her home security cameras. My kids are like, there's a mouse, there's a mouse. So what we do is just grab it, throw it in the trash, and we're like, oh, another one. Here we go again. You see them running back and forth, and you even see them running by the mouse traps. We put meat on it and cheese on it. Sticky traps worked for a while, but sometimes caught the wrong culprit. I think a sock got stuck once on one of the mouse traps, and we had to throw away those socks. A curious baby made other home remedies to tricky. <laughs> Come over here. So Ramirez turned to Velocity Rodent Wildlife Control last October. I looked at Home Advisor to see who they recommend and they were the first one that popped up here. They were here within three days. $589 later with repairs to utility lines, dryer vents and more. Now the ones we're seeing are like this big and they're the ones with the long tails. So <laughs> ran in here. We cook. It's our biggest fear that's just going to pop out. Velocity's contract specifically lists a three-year warranty, but... The person you are trying to reach is not accepting calls at this time. Ramirez hasn't been able to get a Velocity exterminator back to her house for 10 months and counting. Terrible reviews show she's not the only one having communication issues. The Tinley Park address listed on the agreement turns out to be a UPS store. Employees inside told me Velocity shut down its mailbox in April. We got a hold of the owner in Florida who confirmed Velocity closed up in Illinois, despite Facebook posts from this summer suggesting the contrary. He told CBS2 he stands by his warranty for repairs, but said it doesn't guarantee mice aren't still inside the house. The customer would have also had to pay for trapping. Ramirez thought she did because they installed this in her basement. She's not sure it works. My wife would move out. <laughs> That's my photographer weighing in. I've been tempted to, but you know, we don't want them to overcome our fear of being here. In the Austin neighborhood, Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Velocity's owners suggest Ramirez call another exterminator since his company isn't in Illinois anymore, and he didn't even offer a refund.